everyone and welcome to this series of uh, PAO exam. This is electrical A1 circuit, and this is a transient analysis question. There are two different types of transient questions in the electrical A1 exam. There is first order when you have only capacitor or inductor, and then there is the second order when we have both. The approach to each problem is totally different. Here we'll use something called the step-by-step -step approach. There we use Laplace to solve for uh, for the second order. So basically you have one of the elements, you have a capacitor and you have a switch and you have a DC supply and resistors. So let's see what the question is asking us to do. So here the switch was initially closed for a long time at T equal to zero, it opened. So the switch moved from closed circuit to an open circuit. Calculate the voltage across the capacitor at zero plus. The meaning of the word zero plus is the moment that you, when you close the switch, at that moment when the switch is closed, it's called zero plus. Then dV by dt at the same moment, IC at the same moment, and finally, the voltage across the capacitor at goes to, in, as t goes to infinity. Then find Vc as a function of time from t equal to zero onwards. So how to approach this question? We need to solve the question at three different times. At t less than zero, at t equal to zero, and at t goes to infinity. So let's start at t less than zero. At t less than zero, the switch was closed. We assume that the switch stays at that position for long enough until the capacitor will be fully charged. If the capacitor is fully charged, it will be converted into an open circuit. So let me draw the circuit here. So we'll have here 25 volt, 5 ohm, the 2 ohm, and this is an open circuit. This is your VC at zero negative. Zero negative means before I change the switch, switch position, and this here, three ohm. So if we analyze the circuit, if there's a current here, I, here, I, now the current here goes is zero because it's an open circuit, so the current here is also I. So if we have only one current, this is the polarity of the voltages, so we can apply KVL to outer loop. So KVL to outer loop. So we will have 5i plus 3i minus 25 is equal to 0. And from this, you can find your i is equal to 25 divided by 8, which is 3.125 amps. This is the current. Then if you want to find the voltage, you apply KVL in this loop or in that loop. Now the current here, I, is equal to zero. So there is no voltage drop here. So if you take KVL to right loop, and you can do it to the left loop, both will give you exactly the same results. We will have 3I minus VC at zero negative is equal to zero. So your VC at zero negative will basically will be equal to 3I, which is equal to 9.375 volt. Then now we need to analyze the circuit at T equal to zero. So let's, now at T equal to zero, what will happen? The switch will be open. So this will be an open circuit here. So here is our 25 volt, 5 ohm, and then we'll have here an open circuit, completely open circuit here. And then you will have here your 2 ohm. Now, how to model the capacitor? At T equal to zero, we assume that the voltage of the capacitor doesn't change instantaneously. So as a matter of fact, Vc at zero plus is equal to Vc at zero negative, which is equal to 9.375. And that is the first requirement. So here will be like a voltage source equal to 9.375. And then we will have here the three 
P3O. Now, this circuit is floating. It doesn't really do anything. You can just take it out. So let me find my IC here. Your IC at this moment is basically equal to the voltage 9.375 divided by the total resistance, 2 plus 3 ohm, which give me 1.875 amp. Okay, so this is the third requirement. How about this? We know that IC at 0 plus is equal to C DVC at 0 plus DT. This is the formula of the capacitor. So your DVC at 0 plus by DT equal to 1 over C times IC at 0 plus. So from this, your DVC 0 plus DT is equal to 1 over C, 1 over 0.5, which is 2, times the 1.875, and this will give you 3.75. So we found DVC by DT. Now we want to solve it at T goes to infinity. So as T goes to infinity, the capacitor will go back to an open circuit. So at the beginning, the capacitor will be open circuit, a voltage source as T goes. So now we need to solve it as T goes to infinity. So this will be my circuit. 2 ohm. Of course, the switch will be open, so I don't need to draw the voltage supply. We have here 3 ohm. And this is your VC. Now there is no any source of energy. Easily you can see that VC at infinity is equal to zero. Okay, so that's part I. We found everything in the question. Find in part two, we need to find VC of T. Now, VC of T, always we assume the answer in that format, K1 plus K2E minus T over tau. And based on the conditions that we have, we can find all of these conditions. So at VC at infinity, is equal to zero. So it means that your K1 is basically equal to zero because when this is go, T goes to infinity, this item will go to infinity. So your K1 basically is equal to zero. So we found K1. Then VC at zero is equal to K1 plus K2. You substitute T equal to zero, and this is equal to 9.375. It means that your K2 is basically equal to 9.375 because K1 is equal to zero. Finally, tau, tau in an RC circuit is equal to R times C. R is the Thevenin equivalent, the resistance that you see it across the capacitor. So between these two points, your R Thevenin clearly is equal to the 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 ohms. Then your tau will equal to the, uh, the C, which is 1 half times 5, which give me 2.5 second. Then now I can find my VC of T is equal to K1, which is 0, 9.375, e to the power of minus T over over tau, which is the 2.5 volt. So here at T equal to zero, the voltage is 9.375, which is satisfy this condition. As T goes to infinity, this will diminish and go to zero. If I want to draw this, you start, this is your VC of T, you start at 9.375, and then you will have a decaying function like, like this one. 